Hello, welcome to Holy Ghost Revival. I am your host, Brianna Kay. It is such a blessing and such an honor to just be here in this very moment. And um, as I open up today, I, I want to say that it is my first recording. So excuse me if I'm nervous, if I trip up a little, have mercy on me. <laughs> um, so I just want to thank God for this supernatural opportunity. Um, as I was preparing for today, a lot came to my heart, a lot came to my mind. But one of the things that really stood out in the beginning was that I have nothing to offer. Brianna has nothing to offer. It, it's only... It's only the person and the power of the Holy Spirit that can offer you anything. And so today I just want to make a declaration that this channel is, is a channel that is inspired by the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. And um, He is going to be doing the speaking. He's going to be the one that's going to be doing the healing, the delivering, and the saving we are believing for God to move tonight. So I just want to ask you to join me in prayer. Holy Spirit, I invite you. I invite you to cascade over every single soul that would hear this word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the visions and the encounters, the prayers, the revelations, the prophetic words over the locked up inside of me. And I just believe that this is a divine window of opportunity to unlock and release what the Holy Spirit has imparted into me and will impart into me. Hallelujah. Through the sermons that I have sat through, through the prayer sessions that I've been a part of, all through throughout the devotionals that I've had. I believe that God has stored up inside of me something for this moment and this very hour. I don't find it a coincidence, amen, that God has made a way for this moment so that we could be a voice in these specific times, in this specific moment in, 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 in the believe that it is God that, that is just putting a boldness in the believer. Amen. So for today, I just want to touch on the title of the channel. I want to do an introduction for Holy Ghost Revival. I had a vision, uh, an experience during a time where I was just deep in the presence of God and in this time, I could envision and, and in a sense, in a sense, I could even feel, but envisioned my body being emptied of all my organs. And I thought, what a strange vision. So as I just was there, he began to fill me with the Holy Spirit. And I just felt such an such an atmosphere and such an infilling and I, I heard him say you can only function you can only function by depending on me you can only function by deep by relying on the Holy Spirit just as we rely on our organs to live we must rely on the holy spirit to live hallelujah robo sotororo i believe that he is even realer than my very organs i felt him in that moment as a large being standing in front of me and he put his hand on my forehead and i literally felt him take my life and i I fell. I fell as though dead. But it was such a moment. 
such a holy moment. I believe that this Holy Ghost revival is something that we have been consecrated for. We must learn to depend on the person and the power of the Holy Spirit because the flesh cannot bring about a pure move of God. It has to be the Holy Spirit who overshadows so that we could conceive and give birth to a pure move of God. I'm reminded of the story of Mary, the mother of Jesus in Luke 1. She was poor. She was afraid. She was ordinary, just like us. And she was a virgin. She knew her state. She knew that in the natural realm, she could not conceive as a virgin. She was in the middle of what was probably a dream come true. She was about to marry a man. And God came in the middle of all that. And he. He interrupted her mind. He interrupted her heart. He interrupted her plans. Hallelujah. Her life, her future was going to be interrupted and affected by this very moment in time when the angel Gabriel came before her and told her that she was chosen to be overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, that she was going to conceive and that she was going to give birth to the purest move of God. God, the Savior, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. God chose her. Listened to the call of God, and she was willing to pay the heavy cost of a lifelong commission. It was not a temporary call. Just like Holy Ghost revival is not a temporary call. It is a permanent call. It is a lifelong call. It is a call to birth Jesus into the world, into the earth, into the region where you're at. Will we allow the call of revival to interrupt? Will we allow the call of revival to interrupt the plans that we have? The dreams that we have? Will we allow the Holy Spirit to come and to to overshadow? Will we? Will we say yes to the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit? Or we reject, will we reject that interruption? Will we reject it? Will we say no? I'm too busy. No, I got other plans. No, don't interrupt me. Or will we say yes? Will we say yes? Because I'm convinced that the most powerful life, the most greatest life is one that is overtaken by the Holy Spirit. God doesn't use special people. He uses surrendered people. Will we surrender? Will we surrender for this mighty pure move of God? It is not complicated or confusing. It's all about yielding to the Holy Spirit with the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. We can have the greatest move of all in our generation. I believe. Believe, I believe it. What a time! What a time for him to make his appearance through you and through me. What a time! What a time! Because this is just a simple call to reject the flesh, to reject living in the flesh and live in the spirit. I say simple. Because Jesus paid a humiliating price. (sighs) 
to send down the power of the Holy Spirit. See, now it's not limited to one person. Now the call and the Holy Spirit is not limited to one person or one place. He is omnipresent, omnipotent. Oh, he's omniscient. Hallelujah. He is everywhere. He is all knowing and he is all powerful. The Holy Spirit can help us because the flesh is weak, but the spirit. Spirit is willing. In Matthew it says, 20, Matthew 26, 41. It says, keep alert. Keep alert and pray that you will be spared from this time of testing. You should have learned by now that your spirit is eager enough, but your humanity is weak. Your humanity is weak. In the CSB version, it says, stay awake and pray so that you will not enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The flesh does not have what it takes. The flesh does not have what it takes. It is the spirit that is willing and eager. In 1 Corinthians 2, 10, 11, it says, but we know about these things because God has sent his spirit to tell us and his spirit re searches out and shows deepest secrets no one can really know what anyone else is thinking or what he is really like except that person himself and no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit so we see here that it is the Holy Spirit that knows God's deepest secrets. <sighs> no one knows God like his spirit. He knows his heart. He knows his intentions. He knows his motives. And that is why we must yield to him. That is why sometimes when we hear the word intimidated, what if I told you that it is just a simple call to yield and surrender to the person of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it is hard to let go of logic, to quiet your soul and believe everything he says. But let me tell you something, it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Because he said, I will send you a helper. The flesh won't help you. It never has and it never will. It is time to let go it's time to let go of that sin. It is time to let go of those lies. It is time to let go of that addiction. It is time to let go of the things that hinder. It is time. It is time. It's time to give ourselves over completely and utterly to the Holy Spirit. It is time. It is time. It is time. Oh, aren't you ready? Aren't you ready? Aren't you? ready oh hallelujah I believe that he will make us into people that we never thought hallelujah he will turn us into the original woman or man of God that he created us to be hallelujah yes there is a process but if you keep it simple and you yield to him you will get through it all you will get through it all you will you will you will the works of the flesh are very different from the works of the spirit because come on, what you produce depends on who you rely on. What you produce, what you produce comes from who you depend on. 
Hallelujah. If you depend on your own strength, if you depend on your own abilities, you will produce the works of the flesh. The works of the flesh are empty delusions, corrupt logic, deep-seated moral darkness, blinded understanding, spiritual apathy, sexual obsessions, impurity, deceitful desires, dishonesty, bitter words, temper tantrum. Profanity, insults, hallelujah. But when you depend on the Holy Spirit, you will produce the works of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Those fruits or those things are true wisdom, transformation, perfect righteousness, realms of true holiness, honesty, beautiful gifts that encourage others, speaking words of grace kindness and affection towards others graciously forgiving hallelujah ultimately when we live in the spirit we we embody jesus we embody jesus hallelujah in ephesians 4 30 it says the holy spirit of god has sealed you in jesus christ until you experience your full salvation so never grieve the spirit of god don't take for granted his influence in your life hallelujah i had an experience while i was praying for today i was on my knees and my head was to the ground and i began to feel something what what you would feel if there was an earthquake if you were on the second floor and I just automatically thought of the upper room imagine that hallelujah imagine a no flesh revival a place where we are so given over to Jesus a place where we can all enjoy the forgiveness of God a place where we can allow the Holy Spirit to rest upon us a place where we could be like the first church in Acts hallelujah having supernatural prayer sessions raising the dead robobo enjoying each other with simplicity of heart breaking bread with gladness people being added to us daily hallelujah a place where the fruits of the spirit are abundant hallelujah the spirit i'm speaking of love i'm speaking of joy i'm speaking of peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control hallelujah oh and those who belong to christ jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires if we live by the spirit let us also keep in step with the spirit hallelujah yes Hallelujah. Holy Ghost revival is a call to to the Holy Spirit. He is the only one who can overpower our flesh. He is the only one who can overpower the enemy. He is the only one who can give us victory over these things that we face. Oh, hallelujah. It is not a confusing thing. It is not a complicated thing. It is a simple call. So as we wind it down and I begin to close this time together, I want to thank you for the of the Holy Ghost Revival channel. I believe, I believe that he will cascade all who are listening, not for me, not for me. But for Jesus' sake, his sacrifice wasn't for nothing. God, release, release your salvation. Release your presence. 
release your glory if you are not saved and you came across this and you desire to step in pray with me say Jesus I believe that in this moment you are speaking to me you are calling me into salvation so I give you my heart and I give you my life Holy Spirit and spark revival in my bones in Jesus name Hallelujah. I believe that many of you watching today, you may have come to support me, but please know that I thank you, but it's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. Who deserves the support and the glory from all. As you supported me, I believe that you truly supported Jesus. As I close this time, I just want to declare that if anybody needs healing, receive your healing. If anybody needs deliverance, receive your deliverance. If you have been bound, if you have been addicted, if you have been uh, caught up in lies and webs of the enemy, I declare that even now you get your breakthrough, that even now you get your freedom, even now you get your deliverance in the name of Jesus. And I pray that if you've never been baptized with the Holy Spirit, I pray that right now that the Holy Spirit will come upon you and fill you for the work of Jesus on the earth I feel the presence of God he has settled in in this place and I just thank him and I praise him to yield the Holy Spirit if there has been a blockage, if there has been a resistance from stepping into that flow, I want to declare over you today that that hindrance, that resistance be broken now and the simplicity of it all would rush into you and that you would know how to put aside the lies put aside the logic put aside everything that says it cannot happen for you and just receive the revelation of simplicity in the name of Jesus I declare a blessing over every single person. I pray, Lord, for marriages right now. I pray that you would pour out your spirit upon marriages, upon mothers and fathers and children, Lord. I pray that just like it says in the word, Lord, that you will pour out your spirit, Lord, on all flesh in the name of Jesus and give us victory, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I pray for everybody's devotional time. I pray, Holy Spirit, that everyone would know that as they enter into their devotional time, that all they have to do is invite you. You are such a sweet person that the moment you're invited, you come and you appear and you are there to reveal the scriptures, to empower us to live them. And God, I just pray that you would empower your people people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So many times the enemy has mocked. He's kicked you when you were down. He's done so many things to try to destroy. But today is the day where you take back your authority, where you take back your worth. You take back everything the enemy has stolen in the mighty name of Jesus. You take back your health right now in the name of Jesus. You take back everything that he stole from you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to close now. And as I close, I want to leave you with this. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. I believe that this is not just for certain people. But I believe that it is a time for us to unite and just come together, all walks of life, all races, all genders, every single person should know how valuable they are to the kingdom of God. So I thank you for coming along and I pray that through this, you will know that you, beloved, are worthy because God says you are. Because the blood says you are. So allow the Holy Spirit to fill you. Allow the Holy Spirit to fill you. And remember, the Holy Spirit is only one invitation away. God bless you. Love you all. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.